Tallahassee Tom on home show. Mary from Tallahassee, Florida has a question about some sorry soffits. Is she a Tallahassee lassie from down in FLA? I don't know. I've been to Tallahassee. Yeah, she's a, you know, that's an old Freddie, old Freddie Boom Boom Cannon song. She's concerned. She has these screen, sorry, she has these screened uh, soffits here, Tom, that that, that doesn't look like a, a builder grade job there, but she's a little upset with it. She says, recently, um, some of the metal screening was removed to replace a strip of rotten fascia board below a standing metal seam roof. The carpenter replaced the metal screens with some kind of flimsy plastic stapled on across the piece uh, on the cross pieces, but not attached along the edges. She says, as you can see, I can stick my finger through that opening. Tom, she wants to know, how would you repair this thing? I wish I had a longer shot of it. I mean, farther away. It's, it's a very close up. So first off, my first uh, impression is that's one lousy job. And for someone to leave her with that kind of result, he should be ashamed and he should not be in the business or maybe a little back to school training, he would be very good. He's not good at what he does. He should not have done that. And she, uh, hopefully she didn't spend much because she's gonna have to have someone come back and redo that work. Just because the work was done, and this is the biggest point I'm gonna make on this answer, doesn't mean it's permanent work. That work is, is shoddy work, it needs to be redone. I don't care the materials are new get someone in to put in the soffit vents properly. When I do soffit vents, I like to use a product called quarter inch or eighth inch. In this case, I would use eighth inch hardware cloth. It's a very stiff screen, has eighth, little square eighth inch holes. And once you put it on there and you trim it real neatly around the edges, nothing can get through it, nothing can chew through it. That's just a, a, a very, uh, that's actually a solar screen is what it looks like to me, but it's a window screen material and any kind of critter can get right through that. They'll mm -hmm. go through that in a heartbeat if no, they want to get in. Especially, and of saw course how, the hole down the was, side doesn't. Yeah, her yeah. finger, yeah. You know, can you stick it right through there? Well, I'm thinking. In that case, you can get a, lit, a litter of kittens and everything else up there the way this thing is done. That's why I say it can't be fixed. It has to be redone and there's a difference. Yeah. So I, I encourage her to call somebody else. She's going to have to spend some more money if she paid the other guy. I would not call that person back. What he did there is appalling, and he should be ashamed of leaving anybody with something like that. That's not even a temporary fix because of what you just said, Charlie. You could, you know, put a dog up in there. You, all it has to do is pull its paw and go right up in. It's going to so be a tall it's dog. Just not the way I mean, it this, be is, this is on her soft. It's, it's a tall dog. <laughs> well, we could give Maybe it a, make a, it a great ladder dane. to get up. Whatever, it could be a great but, dane, you know, or a mastiff <laughs> might get up there. Yeah. I bet so. you they stick their head through it. <laughs> See that head up in the soffit with the <laughs> legs are, dangling. Well, and you actually get a black lab up there if you tell them there's something tasty yeah. up inside. But no, I, Mary, we make light here. But Tom, if you were going to do the detail on that, right? If you're going to go in there and fix that thing, like you're saying with that, what would you then put like a frame around it or something? Because yeah. obviously you there's can't put it on from called, above. Uh, yeah, there's a trim called a screen mold. And so I, I'm not sure what I'm looking there is I see a piece of pressure treated lumber. I also see some hardy soffit there too. Uh, quite frankly, it's all just a mess, but what you mm -hmm. do is you need a clean cut hole. Then you put the hardware cloth and then you put a, it's an inch and a half wide screen mold all the way around, caulk the edge of it. Then it all gets painted, not the screen, but the trim and all the soffit. In this case, hopefully it's a hardy soffit and uh, it looks really nice and clean and neat and nothing can get in there and it'll last 50, 60 years, who knows how long, but it will be a one job, a one time job. This, this is just a mess. It's just one of those messes. The first thing a person does is just take a hammer and knock it all out and start from scratch. We don't want you to have to do that. So go ahead and click on our blue Ask Tom button at homeshowradio.com, fill out the form, send us a video. However you want to send us your stuff, We'll post it. Tom answers a question every day. We post it at homeshowradio.com, our Facebook page. And if you're looking for lots of questions and answers, you'll find them.